important thing from the flipping recent um, Apple presentation was the Apple Vision Pro that everyone's been going flipping crazy about right online and for me personally um, I think in terms of a product it's legitimately the most interesting thing Apple's made in a very 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 long time I'm one of the people that you know kind of bemoan the fact that um, smartphones especially the Apple iPhone form structure hasn't really changed that much over the years it's still the same sort of rectangular kind of design with the flipping you know um, touch screen and whatever it may be nothing has really sort of changed that much structurally about the phone over the last i'm going to save in 10 years to make it really worthwhile to be jumping from model to model to model to model but i still think apple has the ability to create really amazing consumer products i like, got you don't think you know what i really need this and maybe apart from maybe the apple watch i can't think of anything else that apple have done recently in recent years that's really made me think you know what i need to get this uh, of course aside from the macbooks as well that you want to upgrade but something that's really kind of going to blow your mind and i feel like for me this Vision Pro is definitely one of them. Because when I initially saw it, the first thing that came to mind when I saw it being presented, it kind of reminded me of a scene from like the movie. You remember the Tom Cruise movie um, called Oblivion, I think it's called. It's called Oblivion? I think it's called Oblivion. This Tom Cruise movie called Oblivion. And there's a scene in it where he's on the computer and um, the computer he uses is kind of like a flat screen and it kind of rises up and it kind of reminds me a little bit as well of the movie Prometheus where essentially the way you kind of use the computers where you have these kind of um, these sort of they also almost they almost look, they almost look like they almost look like typography or topography sort of like projections that sort of like rise up these little led lights and sometimes you can use your hand to sort of move the screens around but it's a really um futuristic almost sci-fi way of looking at you know using a computer in real time i think all that sort of shit is fucking incredible and that's kind of in my opinion where the future should be heading so when I saw this shit and I saw the demos that they were showing in the presentation, one of them of the guy in the studio essentially having these screens around him that he's sort of using to kind of browse around and do his extra jobs and whatnot, that really legitimately blew my mind. And I was thinking, oh my God, I cannot wait to flip and use this. But the one feature that I thought was a real big game changer that I think I'm definitely going to want to purchase the Apple Vision Pro for was the flipping ability to watch movies for it to become a full-on immersive experience where you could have the screen be as big as you flipping want is legitimately one of the things that would really get me um, excited to purchase one because I'm one of the people that kind of you know is a bit annoyed that my movie going experience is kind of you know mostly relegated to watching stuff on my laptop or sometimes on my phone i don't really go to the cinemas anymore as much as i probably used to and when i am watching on my laptop on my phone my concentration is all over the place because i'm on my phone i'm walking out the window i'm walking around duh, 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 duh. but at least with this headset as you know as bizarre as it looks on your head it actually does kind of force you to kind of sit down and sort of like pay attention to what you're seeing so it can kind of in a weird way provide a resolution for me in terms of having the ability to watch movies at home but also feel like you are actually concentrating and focusing on the thing that you're watching and you're not distracted by your phone all the time i feel like that's really really the game changer for me in that regard and especially you know you think about it going forward like with terms of watching like sporting events like football and whatnot um i've heard someone make a conversation i think it might be mkbhd saying that how they can legitimately sell an option for you to have seats courtside watching a game or even if you're in a stadium watching football you could probably do that also because it's a mix of you know augmented reality and virtual reality that cl clearly would be an option going forward but i just mean from a purely basic bog standard sitting on your couch point of view being able to watch the game in that sort of you know in that sort of way with that sort of amazing screen um would be legitimately amazing for someone like myself um to check out especially considering how often i spend time at home and i think the verge here actually um did speak about it and made you know this comment which i think was a great one actually where they said apple finally made a tv and that legitimately is what they've done 
you know, for a long time, everyone was waiting for the actual Apple TV, and that's what they've actually done. Instead of actually making a physical TV itself, they've made this headset that you put over in your head, you put over your eyes, and you can essentially watch whatever you want on a massive screen that sort of takes up space within your real space. So that takes up virtual space within your real space and kind of allows you to really, um, you know, absorb yourself within the environment, which I think is amazing. So I'll quickly read this article here, Curse of the Verge. Um, it says here, from a purely technical perspective, I had the same experience using the Apple Pro, um, the Apple Vision Pro, sorry, that most others who have tried have seemed to. The headset is remarkably polished for a first generation product. Its screen looks much better. The field of view is much wider and the gesture controls is much more natural than any other headset on the market. The Vision Pro did get a little heavier on my face after a while. And obviously all we've seen so far are the control demos in a control situation, but there's no doubt that this is a remarkable piece of hardware. Oh, one thing I also got to mention the only slight issue with it is i think and anyway, just to point out the issues has been the battery life so far is like two hours unless you have it plugged into charge the other or, or battle or something that i wasn't really happy about was this facetime feature so you got a facetime feature that you can use so you can basically call people with the headset on but the weird thing is the people that you're calling on facetime what they'll see isn't your real face they'll instead see this like weird um computerized avatar thing of yourself it's really bizarre sort of like a fifa type of madden type of ca creator character sort of face thing which is a bit unnerving so everybody is kind of like you know a real person and then you're the one that's kind of got the computer face which is a bit bizarre but that's the only two things that i thought were a bit strange and of course there was a bit in the kind of promotion material where a young dad was sort of like playing with his kids while he had the headset on or I think he was filming them or something I thought that was really kind of you know somewhat black mirrorish and, and almost sad but eventually that's probably where we're going to go anyway and, and if anything that is no real different to like people holding their cameras right up above their face you know while they're recording their kids or at concerts and stuff so you know people freaking out about that stuff is a bit you know inconsequential but anyway, we move on it says here which brings up to another which brings up the other and more interesting question. What is this thing for? Apple has a few answers. It's for taking the most immersive videos of your kid's birthday. It's for adding more monitors to your office setup. And it's for staring at a 3D human heart while it beats quietly in your living room. But I have a different theory. It's a TV. At least at first, the best thing this headset will do is play movies and shows. And while Apple may have big ideas about immersive content, the new formats are watching things that are all going to take a while to really catch on. But being able to fire up Netflix and watch it on a huge virtual screen, that's going to be ready right away. And for all the potential Apple lofty rhetoric, the Vision Pro is a television and extremely Apple-y one at that. The only issue I feel like with it being a TV, I'm just thinking about it right now, is that there's such a lack of good shit on. That's the thing. I wish there was more stuff to watch so that you could really make use of this headset. I'm, sh I'm sure, you know, there's no shortage of stuff to watch. Don't get me wrong. You could go in the archives and dig out some amazing, you know, um, legendary movies that you could kind of rewatch again and again and again. But it would be such a great thing to be able to use this headset and also be able to, you know, watch the newest, greatest show that everybody is saying you have to watch that's legitimately good instead of the, you know, the kind of, almost average okay and passable shows that we have at the moment that aren't really doing much but are good enough to pass away the time that's the only thing that i wish would have been the case but apart from that i think it's a fucking definitely a game changer um and it continues here one last bit here it says i should say i don't think this is a tv steve jobs was talking about when he famously told author um, walter igerson that he had finally cracked the future of tv and I also don't think this is the TV analyst Gene Munster spent years predicting would come and never did. Apple may yet make a big screen TV that sits in a living room, but for the company that is forever trying to push the boundaries of what technology does and how you interact with it, the Vision Pro feels much more in keeping with Apple's vision. Instead of one, to, instead of one TV, one size in one place, Apple proposes a world in which you have infinite TVs of all sizes everywhere all the time. And that is a fucking game changer, especially when you think about the kind of people that use Apple products, you know, um, that is definitely going to be a game changer because it's going to completely change how you sort of like 
use your space as well because you know you're not going to have screens everywhere so maybe you can kind of change how you lay out your flipping space in terms of an interior designs point of view but again i'm getting too much in the weeds there um i can't wait to see it when it releases sometime in the new year a big big lead up time in terms of pre-orders and eyeing out the details i'm assuming um but also gives people a chance to kind of get hyped for it and yeah man the, the price tag's a bit much mad though i think it's like three thousand four hundred or something like that so that's a bit crazy but i'm sure people are going to flip and lap it up when it does eventually come out when it does eventually come